Hello game devs, welcome back to another G developer tutorial. So today um, I will be showing you how to create a fade extension in G Develop 5. So um, welcome to my first tut tutorial on G Develop Better 95. Um, I'm so sorry for not giving notifying you guys or creating a post on my YouTube channel once when G Develop Better 94 was released. That's because um, I never got a notification that it was actually released, so I just I completely missed G Develop 94. So okay, so I'm so sorry for that. So let's have a preview of what this would look like. So preview. Okay, so as you can see, it faded in right there. Um. Okay, so and um, that's the fading, and this takes our player out. So that's the fade out. So we could use events to do this, but to make your work much more professional, I would um, recommend you use extensions. So I'll show you how to create this yeah. in GDevelop. So, um, just minimize and go there my project up okay so new scene so here I have a scene um I would hide my fade object so sorry about that okay so now let's go to our project manager functions and behaviors um I don't need this okay so we have the wrong okay yeah here we go now let's go to our project manager um functions and behaviors add a new function I would rename this um fade so this would be the name of your extension and I would name that fade and open that up. So now we um we, let's edit our extension options. Okay, so here you can fill in the name of the extension which we typed in there, fade, name displayed in the um editor. So I'll name that fade, shop description, you can just write what your um extension is all about description, here we go, and your version, um tags, author name, and you can export it to GitHub, GitHub and probably get it uploaded um, as an extension which can be downloaded so here we go now let's add a new function this would be an action um okay so I won't go through all of this because I'm trying to make this as easy as possible so um action now just rename this rename fade okay, so here we go fade in so this would be our first Fade in, let's open that up. So first of all, let's go to our parameters. Um, here we go, add new. So here you have to fill in your object name. So you have to fill in a name. This would be object type. Um, this would be, let's go with objects. Object type, that would be a sprite. And so the label, this would be um, the label. So this is displayed at the top of your... Um, the top of your action like it would be a label for your objects okay so I'll just name that object to fade here we go that would be an object to fade in now configuration um function type action full name display in the um editor so that would be fade in okay so description displayed in the editor so you can just fill in the description fade in a sprite object so this works for sprite object using our parameters we build in a sprite object right here so you can fill in any object but um well that's up to you so configuration um sentence in the event sheet so now you have to follow this um right param um x for parameters flash param um this so this is an example so flash param one for five seconds so let's do something similar to this so that would be fade in on the score of param one on the score okay so that would be the um events now let's add an empty event right here okay so object add an action change the passive object that would be opacity change sprite opacity Sign, um, subtract, let's get a sign data, 
time. There we go. So found out um an asterisk which serves as a multiplication um at. So that would subtract from the sprite object right there. So now let's that's all for our fading extension. And let's create our fade out extension. So add an action. Um, I would rename this fade out. So now let's open this up. Um, parameters. Um, here we go. Let's add a new one object. I'm just putting object right here. Five objects. Object five. Sprites label object to fade out. Okay, I think I should have filled in out um, in, in this. I'll just do that quickly. Um, here we go. So object to fade in. That's done. Let's go back to fade out. Okay, so now let's go to a configuration um, action. That's the function type. We name this blade. That would be um, fade out. Okay, so description display. This would be fade. You can just fill in your description right here. So this would be our events sheet. So this would be fade out on the score param one on the um here we go on the score okay so that's it now let's add an empty fence let's add an action um object opacity change sprite opacity so now we need to add um from the find delta here we go find delta and it's going to here we go and AT. Okay, so there we go. Now we are done with our extensions. We've successfully created um, a fade in and fade out extension. Now let's implement this into our game. So news and events right here um, at the condition at the beginning of the scene. Okay, so at the beginning of the scene, add an action, scene variable. But if a scene variable fade, um, okay, so fade. Hello, game devs. Welcome back to another G Develop Flux tutorial. So today, um, I will be showing you how to create a fade extension in G Develop Five. So, um, welcome to my first tut tutorial on G Develop Beta Ninety Five. Um, I'm so sorry for not giving, notifying you guys or creating a post on my YouTube channel once. When GDevelop Beta 94 was released, that's because um, I never got a notification that it was actually released, so I just I completely missed GDevelop 94. So okay, so I'm so sorry for that. So let's have a preview of what this would look like. So preview. Okay, so as you can see, it faded in right there. Um, okay, so on um, that the fade in and this takes our player out, so that's the fade out. So we could use events to do this, but to make your work much more professional, I would um, recommend you use extensions. So I'll show you how to create this yeah. in GDevelop. So um, just minimize and go there my project up okay so new scene so here I have a scene um I would hide my fate object so sorry about that okay so now let's go to our project manager functions and behaviors um I don't need this okay so we have the wrong okay yeah here we go now let's go to our project manager um functions and behaviors add a new function I would rename this um fade so this would be the name of your extension, and I would name that fade and open that up. So now we um we, let's edit our extension options. Okay, so here you can fill in the name of the extension which we typed in there. Fade name displayed in the um editor. So I'll name that fade. Shop description. You can just write what your um extension is all about. Description. Here we go. And your version um tags author name, and you can export it to GitHub, GitHub, and Probably get it uploaded um, as an extension which can be downloaded. So here we go. Now let's add a new function. This would be an action. Um, 
Okay, so I won't go through all of this because I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. So, um, action. Now just rename this. Rename fade. Okay, so here we go. Fade in. So this would be our first fade in. Let's open that up. So first of all, let's go to our parameters. Um, here we go. Add new. So here you have to fill in your object name. So you have to fill in a name. This would be object type. Um, this would be.